What did you say? very windy so I apologize if you cannot hear me um but I left Germany yesterday and I'm not going back so yeah and now I'm in Dublin so I'm gonna explore Dublin for two days and then I'm moving on to the next place I'm gonna be going to some very interesting places so stay tuned did my walking tour and it was really interesting. I always recommend doing a walking tour. This one was by a company called Unearthed. Very interesting. The tour guide was interested in what he was talking about as well so that helped. Food. Yeah, I bought a postcard, wrote in it, I just went walking around. I was at the Dublin Castle for a bit, I went reading in a park as well. Now I'm going to the National Gallery of Ireland. I'm in Belfast right now. I just stopped for a night and um, I'm standing in front of a road. Probably a lot of people are watching me. I'm on my way somewhere else now. I just stayed here for a night. I haven't even really seen the city. Yeah, time to move on to the next place. There's a lot of cars, so. Yeah, so I was in Dublin yesterday and I filmed a little bit, as you would have seen, but then my camera ran up charge, so I had to not film anymore but um, I left Dublin in the afternoon so now I'm in Belfast and I haven't really seen much of the city to be honest but I'm going to Bushmills which is near the coast and the Giants Causeway is near that. So I have arrived at the Giants Causeway. I'm staying at a hostel that is called Finn McCool's Giant Courtway Hostel or something like that. It's cheap accommodation right at the footsteps of the Giant Courtway. But not really, but kind of, because look at this view. What my window. I'm gonna sit in here for a little while, just chill. And then I'll go out and do some exploring. Feels like a wet wally map. There's so many people here. It's crazy. Oh, that's pretty. But yeah, I'm at the Giants Causeway now. Three out of three days in Ireland were sunny, and I'm just like, what? Thank you, God, because obviously God's in control of the weather, so yeah, I'm enjoying the sun right now. The water is so good, it's so pretty. couldn't possibly be better today. Like, the grass is so, so green. The sky is so blue, the sea is so blue. Everything is just really beautiful. I'm just happy to be here, and I'm happy I came out today. Every day is a day. Do not waste it. You only have so many days in your life. 
I don't really know what that means, but I'm just, it just makes me smile so much. It makes me smile to stand on the edge of a cliff. <laughs> I don't know if you can see how I'm on the edge of a cliff right now. And to see such amazing views, such nice weather, these make me happy. <laughs> I could cry right now. It's just so beautiful. It's like 7.30 a.m. and I'm just gonna walk back to Bush Mills now because I don't have any food so there's nowhere to get food here so it's a bit cloudy this morning but it's still gonna be a nice day. I'm gonna make my way to a ruined castle today. next to a road as you can hear but I'm in Bushmills and I've just ate some breakfast on to the next destination <laughs> I'm at Dunluce Castle. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go in because you have to pay an entry fee and there's kind of a lookout down there anyways so I might go check that out. Oh it's so beautiful here. Look at that I have chewing gum and I don't know where to spit it out, but it's so pretty. I am definitely not going in the castle because I think I've seen what I need to see, what I wanted to see. When you see an ice cream van, you can't say no to ice cream, especially when it has such good views as this. So yes, I got ice cream before midday, but who cares. So I'm going to check out the view and then I'm going to head down to the beach, which I'll show you in a sec. Down there. Yes, so that's where I'm headed right now. It's a very beautiful day. Once again, thank you for the weather. <gasps> A beautiful day. Another beautiful day in Ireland. Thank you. Ireland? I went swimming, but now I'm in a town called Portrush. Time for some good old fish and chips by the river. Looks pretty good. I to say the chips aren't as stuck as I would like them. But they taste good, so that's all that matters. They are very salty though. So, as you can see, I got extremely sunburnt yesterday. I thought for me, oh well, I'll have to wear some sunscreen, but today I've come east, north, northeast, and I'm gonna explore. I'm gonna do some walking, but I'm honestly a bit uncertain how this will pan out because it seems to be, it's really remote and it doesn't seem like there's proper paths. Yesterday there was heaps of paths, everything was like not on the road, but like today I may be walking on the road. But to be fair, it's country road, it's not super busy, but still dangerous because the cars go quite quickly. The weather today, a little bit cloudy, 
quite cloudy actually <laughs> but you know it's alright the past few days have been absolutely stunning but I just saw some sheep want to see some sheep yes my first stop is a castle so let's go on a little walk find this castle take some pickies yeah that's the plan okay there's a little house here abandoned obviously can you imagine living here with that view crazy i made it it's very beautiful here i'm like at the top of a cliff right now and uh, i do love cliffs standing right next to the edge i'm sorry to my parents but also not really. This is what happens when you let me travel alone. I just end up talking to a camera the whole time. So if anybody wants to join me on my travels next time, Feel free to hit me up. Well, also apologies, it's a little bit windy, as per usual. So now I'm in a tiny castle. It's really tiny. I think that the walls are actually thicker than the actual room. I have no idea how somebody would have actually lived in there, or if anyone actually did. It turns out that's just a bit of it. It's actually bigger than that. Look at the map. I am at the Ballantoy Harbour, which is quite nice. Lots of little rocks and sort of like islands that are rocks, but yeah. Just been reading a book, had a little snack. I'm honestly not feeling it today, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I could walk almost four hours to get back to the hostel or walk up the hill and get a bus. I'm not sure, we'll see what I do. Okay, well, it seems like I'm going to be doing the four hour walk. I may as well just do it now that I'm here. I have headphones, so I've got some music to keep myself entertained, maybe. Not that the view isn't entertaining, but I really am gonna need some motivation today. I've been out since like 9 a.m. And it's currently 12. No, it's actually nearly 1 p.m. But I actually don't have any food left with me, so I'll only be able to eat once I get back to my hostel, which will be in four hours if I don't stop for any breaks. So we'll see how that goes. I'm now in a pasta with some sheep. Um, I don't know if I should be afraid of the sheep because they might come and attack me, but. Probably not, I think they're more scared of me. Oh, one just peed. <laughs> That's that. It's getting a little bit out of control. There are cows at the beach. So I'm currently four kilometers into this walk and I've just come across a really cool viewpoint. I had to walk up this little track here to get to it. But it's so pretty here. I'll show you. Okay, so I'm up to seven kilometers now, and I just saw some cows being driven up the road. Not driven, like herded. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool and really funny. It's actually really cool to see. I've never seen anything like that because I've always lived like near the city or near the, in the suburbs, but it's such a different life, like the farm life. Okay, that's a random observation right now, but yeah. So I'm just coming up to the 10 kilometer mark of my walk. So that'll mean I've only got like four kilometers left, which I am definitely happy about and I'm thinking either by the 10 kilometer mark or the 11 kilometer mark, I'm gonna let myself listen to music. I was gonna do it at the eight kilometer, but then I decided I could go further by still being motivated. So 
that's good. But it's so still, the water's so still and peaceful like right now. It's so beautiful. So this morning I'm en route to a new destination. Um, we are still gonna be in Northern Ireland, except um, I'm gonna actually be volunteering at a hostel for two and a half weeks. So that's gonna be interesting. And I think I'm gonna end the vlog, this vlog here because I'll start a new vlog for my volunteering time. It's gonna be interesting. This will be my first time volunteering. I'm doing it with World Packers. So stay tuned for the next video if you wanna know about volunteering and World Packers. So. I think it's a really good way to travel because like you're gonna get free accommodation but that's my opinion now if you want to hear my opinion during and after come for the next video thanks for watching and bye